that's the term, the official term, time sample the phenomenon, not on a sequence of days, but hours and even minutes. So that if something varies on those shorter time scales, it'll get captured for the first time ever. Well, suppose a star got brighter once every 24 hours. The sky is huge. It is huge. Most telescopes see tiny fractions of the night sky. For example, the Hubble telescope sees a tiny fraction of the area of the full moon on the sky. The tiniest fraction. If you would take a picture with the Hubble telescope of an area of the sky the size of the full moon, it is individual exposures linked together, mosaic until you recover the full area you're interested in. If we're going to take a movie of the night sky and watch things that change, we want to do better than that. One of the main features of the LSST telescope is the size of its camera. The LSST camera is the largest digital camera ever made. It's the size of an automobile. It weighs 6,000 pounds. They're booking across the field of view. There's another one going that way, and then this way. These are undiscovered asteroids, never before documented by any prior scientist or telescope. How many asteroids did it discover, might you ask? It discovered more than 2,000 asteroids in the first 10 hours of operation. By the way, we discover a lot of asteroids every year, tens of thousands of asteroids. So I don't want to play down the significance of the world's effort to discover asteroids, but if we discover tens of thousands of asteroids in a year and the Rubin telescope discovered 2,000 asteroids in 10 hours? That's a month's worth of asteroids in 10 hours. And by the way, this tranche of more than 2,000 asteroids, that's just in one section of the sky. There's more sky that we're gonna learn about and we fully expect millions of asteroids to be discovered that had never been cataloged before. You realize in the next few years, the Vera Rubin Observatory will discover more asteroids than have been cataloged in the last two centuries. That's science on the move. That's astrophysics. Reaching out for the universe. Taking names. This telescope will also be able to map large scale structures of the universe, galaxies. And this will give us insights into the nature and the distribution of dark matter 